my name is Tyler. I am a rising senior here at the University of Richmond and I do research in the organic chemistry department with Dr. Wade Downey. I am a chemistry major, so it's super cool to be able to do research in an organic chemistry lab like this. Um, I joined this lab when I was in my second semester of my sophomore year. It's a really easy process to join research here at the University of Richmond. I just took um, a couple of organic chemistry classes with Dr. Downey and I loved his class. Um, and so at the end of one of my, his classes, I went up to him and I said, I really would love to be in your research lab. And he said he had an opening. Um, and we basically just chatted a couple times about what I would be doing and I was able to join the research lab. So it's really cool. All right, so right now I'm doing a distillation. A distillation is basically where you take something that we use in lab that's kind of dirty and you distill it so that you can use a very clean version of it. So right now I'm distilling Hunix base. So the stuff that's in the oil bath right now is the dirty Hunix base and it's basically going to move over to this flask over here and it's gonna be super clean so that we can all use it. And this is a base that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, so it's important to have it be clean. Um, so basically right now I'm heating up the Hunix base to about 150 degrees Celsius, which is about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's pretty hot. Um, so that's above the boiling point of Hunix base. So it's basically gonna to start to boil and as the gases kind of lift up, they're gonna to start to condense around this area where water is flowing around it. So the gases are gonna condense, and as they condense, they're gonna fall down this kind of chute here, and they're gonna collect in the collection flask, and everything that collects is going to be clean. Um, so this is a really important lab technique that all of us learn, is that we can make stuff that we use every single day. Um, I honestly think research is one of the best experiences I've ever had here at the University of Richmond. Right off the bat, all of us in this lab get our own projects, so we have a ton of autonomy. Um, and it's just a really, really great learning experience because during the school year, you're in here about two times a week. Um, so you're getting a lot of really great hands-on learning. I've learned so many things that I can kind of just apply to my other classes here at Richmond, but also I've gained a ton of experience that have kind of showed me maybe what I want to do in the future. Um, so, you know, Dr. Downey and I have talked a lot about maybe grad school as an option after I graduate. So it was really awesome being able to join this lab and kind of gain that experience and show me how much I love research. Um, so I really love being a part of this lab. Um, and this is actually my second summer in this research lab. So last summer I stayed for 10 weeks and worked full time. Um, I got to live on campus and I'm doing the exact same thing this summer. So this summer it's really awesome because I'm one of the more experienced people in this lab um, since I've already worked a summer. And it's really great because I've been able to learn how to mentor and how to teach some of the newer members of this lab. Um, so you get all sorts of different type of learning and teaching experience in these research labs. Um, and like I said, research is just one of the greatest decisions I've ever made at the University of Richmond. Hi, so I'm doing a separatory funnel right now, which is I'm basically separating organic solvents from aqueous solvents so that I can extract my organic product in the organic layer because I'm separating them because my aqueous layer right now, which is brine, and my organic layer, which is ether, they have different densities. So in a second, after I finish shaking it, you'll be able to see that there's a line there. So then on top, we have, so we see there's a line separating the two layers, kind of like when you mix like milk and oil, you can see them separating. And then so by doing this, I can extract my product in the top layer so that it's pure and clean. Hi, I'm Alexa. I'm a rising junior here at U of R. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I balance swim, school, and research. Um, I joined Dr. Downey's lab during my sophomore year in the spring, and I was in the training phase, and now I'm here doing research for 10 weeks this summer. And while I'm here, I actually get to train with my college coach, which is good because I can stay in shape and continue making progress with my research. Um, I would say research and swim have actually helped me balance school in terms of time management. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily look at research and swim as a task, but more of like a social aspect. So I get to bond with my lab mates and my teammates, which is fun, um, kind of take my mind away from the stress of school. And I would say doing research is good, um, expanding your knowledge in like your field of study per se, and you can figure out what you want to do and what you don't want to do. So, yeah. 
Doing research over the summer is also really fun because you get to live in an on-campus apartment. Um, and I am actually really lucky because I get to live with two of my lab mates and really good friends. So I live with Olivia. Hello. And Helen. Hi. Um, so we all share an apartment. We have our nice little kitchen. We have our own living room. It's a really cozy place. Um, and so on a lot of days, if we plan it out right, we're able to eat lunch together. Um, so, you know, doing research over the summer is not just a really educational experience. It's also really a social experience and you get to have a lot of fun after work, hanging out with your friends in your on-campus apartment.